Hi, how's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, I'm going to hope that this film's okay. Um, from what I can see from the video that is currently recording, there is more of a delay than there would be normally. I don't know how that's going to affect the video quality. Um, <laughs> I may restart to uh, get it synced up a little bit better, but you know, it's uh, I, I'll go with it and you know, see how it sounds, and I may have to re record it later if it's not sounding okay, although it seems to be smoothing itself out now, so maybe it'll be fine. Um, okay, so I'm still not feeling 100% awesome. Um, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting like cabin fever at this point because, you know, quarantine. <laughs> um, so I could talk about a lot of things right now. Um, I still don't have the covers sorted for the Dollmaker Sun books. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on on the end of my cover guy, so I'm just letting you know, let him sort his stuff out first. Um, plus, I'm still waiting on my beta readers to get back to me to make sure there isn't anything that I've definitely make sure there isn't anything that I've missed um, or anything that I, I could improve. Uh, in the meantime, um, I'm still, you know, reading and reviewing stuff, um, and I've also started writing another project alongside the fourth book in the Never Eaten collection, which is actually a spin-off of the Never Eaten collection. And I, I wasn't, I wasn't planning, I wasn't planning it. I really wasn't. But I just kind of had this dream about a week ago, and I woke up and I was like oh my god, I, I need to start writing this now. Um, it, it's, it was one of those things where it just felt like it couldn't wait. Um, the, the two books that I'm planning to rewrite for the um, Shadows Beneath the Light series, they feel like they can wait. They feel like there's something that I can sort of plan out and take my time with um, once I actually get started doing it. But this just really felt like it couldn't wait and I'm a good chunk of the way through at this point and it's only been a week um there's just something about it that just is just right there for me at this point in time and it just feels like it, i need to sort of write it it's just one of those things i need to do full time and it's, it's a spin-off because obviously it's not featuring one of the it's not having one of the four never rating boys as their heads uh as it's, as its head it is featuring um some new characters that haven't been in the Asian collection before. It's also not set in Never Eaten at all, um, or at least it hasn't been in Never Eaten at all at this point. It is in another fictional place. Never Eaten is obviously referenced because you do get some of the Never Eaten characters, um, but it's set in a, it's set both in kind of in Exeter, um, although I'm very sort of vague about the Exeter location because I don't know the Exeter, like if I was setting it in Plymouth it'd be so much easier. <laughs> so I'm, I'm slightly vague about the, the Exeter setup and it's also set in a village called Not Hollow. Um, spelled N, sorry, spelled K-N-O-T, not, um, just as again as another play on words like Neverayton is Nevery Town, Not Hollow is it's not a hollow that exists basically so it's another little play on words um so yeah it's getting me really excited and really motivated at the moment um it's taking up like a large chunk of my days um uh, sort of like just sat there just sort of i'm sort of like doing a chapter a day and they're not like my short chapters like i used to do they're like proper chunky chapters um and of course i've got the time to do it at the moment and i'm like kind of want to try and get as much written as possible um before i have to go back to work i still have no idea when i'm going back to work um I know they're going to be starting trials um, soon for seeing, you know, how we how we would operate when we reopen and stuff like that. Um, but you know, my story isn't one of the ones in the first wave, so um, it, it, I'm imagining it's going to be June um, before anything kind of comes about um, in, in terms of me getting back to work. So that's like a, a good month to sort of 
get as much of this written as possible whilst um, I'm finishing off the fourth book in the actual Never Rating collection at this point. I'm fairly certain I'm on like the very end of that now. Um, if this isn't, you know, I'm, I'm definitely certain this is the last chapter I'm writing for um, the fourth book in the Never Rating collection at the moment, which is great because that means I can then work on simultaneously editing both of those two books, uh, which will be a lot easier for me. Um, because of all the crossover of scenes and stuff, it'll be a lot easier if I'm sort of editing them together a little bit more uh, closely. So, you know, that's that's all sort of like there still, all sort of still working out still. So um, then I'll also have more time to sort of, yeah, it, it, it's, uh, I think once I sort of finished writing the fourth book in the Never Raising Collection, um, alongside writing this spin-off, um, I'm gonna start planning out um, how the, the Shadow of Light books are going to go um, a little bit more solidly so that when it comes to writing them, they're going to be easier to do. Because one of the things I've been finding with this spin-off book that I'm writing at the moment is that I'm pretty much planning out what's going to happen in each chapter. Um, where you know it's, it's kind of an unusual method for me. It's not one that I've, I've kind of done for a while. Usually I've kind of gone, okay, this is the next scene that I'm going to write. I'll write that scene. And then I'm, I'm not really thinking in terms of what scenes are going into what chapter and, and stuff like that. So it all sort of like comes out a little bit more organically. Um, whereas this one, I'm kind of like, no, I, I, I know a sort of rough length I want for the story to be because never writing books are really long apart from High in a Boy. And I want this one to be more closer to the length of High in a Boy. It can be a little bit longer. I'm not worried about it being a little bit longer, but I don't want it to be another big chunky doorstop of a book, uh, which the other books in the Liberation Collection are, because obviously they're less marketable. Um, but I'm hoping by having to, uh, by, by having a, you know, a, in a Neverating Collection book, um, main proper that is a shorter one as an entry point, and then having a spin-off that is a shorter one as an entry point, um, then, it, you know, it, it might encourage people to, to, you know, find out what's going on and find out what the, the rest of the story, you know, behind the scenes is. Um, I may do more spin-offs for the Never Rating Collection, I may not. Um, as I said, I also want to make sure that I'm planning out uh, the Shadow Beneath the Light books for the second arc of the Shadow Beneath the Light as well. So, yeah, there's there's lots of things I can be doing once I've finished uh, writing the fourth book in the Never Rating Collection. It's some of it connected to the Never Rating stuff, some of it completely separate to the Never Rating stuff. Um, it's all kind of you know up and exciting and 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 whatever at the moment and it's 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 like there's not enough time in the day for me to write <laughs> there's not enough time in the day um so yeah that's that's kind of you know how, how everything is is at the moment how everything is, is going at the moment um so as i said i i think i, I mentioned that i'm still not feeling brilliantly well i'm pretty sure i said i'm still not feeling brilliantly well <laughs> Still not in that kind of like, yeah, I did, because I said I, I think it's cabin fever. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end this one here um so that I can I can get back to, to doing other things and, and having a bit of chill out and it's almost lunchtime now and I'm starting to feel a bit hungry and I don't want my stomach to start growling really loudly on you guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this one now. Uh so I hope you found this one sort of interesting even though it's just me sort of hyperly babbling about pretty much nothing <laughs> for 10 minutes um and i will see you guys next time see ya <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe see ya